Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Marker Prep video for August 5th, 2021. Well, doggone it, yesterday, those ADP numbers really missed the mark by a huge margin, and we saw more price volatility coming into play. However, there wasn't a whole lot of technical damage. As a matter of fact, if you were to just look at the SPY and QQQ, one might think that jobs no longer matter um, with those two indexes uh, poised to set new record highs. So what does all this mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up, and get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Marker Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. Thank you all for being here. This certainly has been a wild, challenging price action week um, as we continue to bounce around pretty strongly um, in these um, indexes with big price moves. Now, let me take um, a second here. I'm going to go to the, the DJI, um, the Dow Index Excel. So, and this is, the, this is the challenge that we are dealing with. Although we look at a chart and we see, hey, this is a nice little consolidation and not much here. Um, you know, we certainly haven't experienced any tech technical damage, but what's been the problem that we've been dealing with? Well, first off, if we go from that swing high right there and we measure down to this swing low, the problem is a 476 point range in that consolidation. That's what's been the challenge. And the price volatility has been a little bit difficult for a lot of traders to deal with. I'm hearing from more and more folks that um, their accounts are being chopped to little teeny tiny pieces um, with all of this wild volatility. So remember guys, I've talked about this this week. Um, if, if you don't have experience with this kind of wild volatility, if you're not comfortable with maybe quick in and out intraday trading, this can be one of those periods of times that can really challenge you to, um, to, to recognize the condition of the market and say, okay, I'm going to step back here. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for a better market condition, uh, to, uh, come around because it will. And we want to protect our capital during this period. One of the things you don't want to do is, is take this frustratingly challenging market and just push harder um, at it because finding the market condition has never uh, been a winning strategy for me. Um, we have to trade with the market condition, recognize the market condition, and adapt to that market condition in our trading. So that said, let's take a look at the Dow. Now the Dow, we continue to struggle with this resistance high in the chart. And if I drop another line in here, we continue to push down here, test and try to hold on to this little price support in the chart as well. Now that's a pretty wide range. And although yesterday we closed down below that, we're trying to get bullishness here this morning to suggest that that is not going to uh, be the case this morning, that we're gonna push back up. And at some point in time, we have to ask the question whether or not this relentless bullishness is becoming a little bit of over complacency in the market. Now, having said that, it's really gonna come down to all of this data. Today is going to be our biggest day of earnings data this season. It's also going to be um, um, a morning where we um, once again have to face that jobless claims number that has missed the last two times on expectations. So watch this closely here in the market. What we've seen um, in this market recently is good news is supported as good news. Bad news is uh, we don't care too much. We try to ignore it. So um, if we get a good number in that jobless claims, we could certainly rally here and um, um, show a lot of strength. And I got to say that the overall 
price pattern in the diamonds is not bearish. It is bullish, continues to be bullish. We continue to hold above our 50 day moving average. We continue to hold in a wide ranging challenging consolidation, but it remains bullish. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now SPY, and by looking at this chart, you would almost say nothing happened yesterday. There were jobs, who needs jobs? Um, when you look at this chart, we held strongly above price support. The trend in this chart remains extremely bullish. And yesterday was just, yeah, again, bad news. We, we just kind of put our head in the sand and say, uh, we're going to ignore it. And um, SPY did that yesterday, staying very, very bullish overall in this chart. It is wide ranging and it is challenging with this volatility. You can see this morning, we're trying to pump it up again this morning, trying to push this up in this relentless push um, to the upside. Now we have a tremendous amount of data to digest today. So anything is still possible in here, but watch that closely. I think we are set within striking distance of new record highs. If we can just get any kind of a bullish um, number today, um, I think they're gonna push for record highs in um, the SPY. But we do have to recognize the fact that if we were to stumble and if we were to drop below this level, we could move quickly lower and um, it could be punishingly lower. So watch that closely um, on that support level if we do happen to stumble. Uh, bullish chart, stay with the trend as long as the trend continues. Let's take a look at the Qs. QQQ also just unbelievably bullish. We just can't, even with bad jobs numbers, we can't move down um, in this index. We continue to push in those big techs. We continue to try to shove and shove and shove uh, tech higher here. So we are within striking distance of new record highs. As a matter of fact, we are going to open very near new record highs if this pre-market activity continues. We're trying to push that up. So we could set a new record easily in the QQQ today. We still have a very bullish chart, but I want to also remind you if we were to stumble, and I'm not saying we, that we will, but if we do and we break down below this level right in here, these lows of this consolidation, watch for the possibility of a very painful sell-off in the market because we're kind of poised for that at the moment. So stay with the trend, stay bullish, don't be running for the doors just yet, but at the same time, don't become complacent here in case we do find reason to stumble. And then let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM remains bearish. It is our weakest index. We remain under our 50 day moving average. We have failed and continue to show that possible failure. We, we have tried um, several times to push this through and say, hey, we don't care, we don't care, we don't care, we wanna go up. And we're trying to push it back up again this morning a little bit. But notice this is not a bullish pattern and um, there are problems here in this chart. However, that said, if we can hold this price support right through this area, it's a very choppy area. If we could hold this price support through this area, uh, we may be able to push right on up and test that 50 day moving average again. So watch that closely. Not all is lost, but once again, if we were to drop below that level, um, I would look for a possibility of a rather quick decline um, as they strip out stops if that were to occur. So watch that carefully and closely. Let's take a look at the uh, VIX. Now, interestingly, yesterday, the VIX, even though we had some fear in the market, the fear really didn't creep up all that much in the VIX. However, we still have this technical problem in the chart. We still are making higher lows um, in this chart 
and holding on to that little upside trend. We're above our 50 day moving average. Now we remain under that 20 handle and I've mentioned this before, that 20 handle is kind of the line in the sand for me anyway. When I look at that right around this 20 handle is where we have a very big level of price um, resistance in the chart. You can see all of these testing areas in here that are um, strong along that chart. So we continue to challenge that upside in that move, but we haven't been able to break through. And, and I think that's where the problem could occur. If we were to break through and prove to hold up here, that's where the real selling could come in. Um, so far, not the case, but we do need to start seeing this break down. We do need to start seeing this break below that 50 day moving average. Um, if we're gonna, going to set new record highs, we shouldn't be seeing the VIX elevated. So kind of keep that in mind. If um, I remove these lines here, I want to kind of point out that we are in this wedging pattern with these trends and we'll wanna keep a pretty close eye on that. We don't wanna see that breaking through that top side. All right, let's take a look at our T2122, which is the four week new high, new low ratio. And even with the SPY yesterday, holding up and showing us that, hey, there's no problem here. There's nothing going on here. Look other places, we're all bullish. We had more stocks in the four week new high, new low ratio. We had more stocks moving down than we did going up yesterday. So in T2122, we have pushed down. Now what that does is that opens up opportunity to the upside. If we can find reason for bullishness, we could certainly push right on through. There's plenty of upside room in this, but let's keep in mind, should we find reason to stumble? We're kind of on the bearish side here in T2122. And what I mean by that is if we were to find reason for, for stumbling, I think we could see a quick push to the downside. So be prepared for that if that does occur. Watch that pretty closely. T2122 doesn't tell us direction on the day, just tells us where we can move depending on how the market sentiment comes around. And then if we take a look at T2101, while the SPY and the QQQ were trying to say nothing is wrong here, everything is great, our absolute breadth index continues to decline. We uh, continue to see this tremendous divergence in our market breadth and um, the indexes. So watch that carefully. I'm not exactly sure how much longer we can continue in this condition, but watch it carefully. We continue to move through this, this downtrending condition and we're wedging in here on this pattern. So watch that carefully and closely. I'm not exactly sure how much longer that can continue, but who knows, maybe months. Um, I have no idea. So just um, keep a close eye on it. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar, we have a busy day, um, particularly this morning where we're going to get um, um, these big reports. We've got um, international trading goods. Um, that continues to be a shockingly negative number. And somehow we have been able to put our hand, hit in the sand and absolutely ignore that number. One day that'll be a big deal, but until then, I think we're gonna continue to ignore. Um, let's take a look at the jobless claims. Now the last two jobless claims, we have missed the estimate target. Um, they, have, they have a lower estimated target again today. So if we were to miss this on those jobless claims, that could prove to be just a tiny bit bearish here in the market. So watch for that. Now there is also the possibility that even though we get through these, we could see the market just be very dull and choppy after we get through this morning session because we're waiting on this number Friday morning. That's gonna be the employment situation number. Um, uh, those private payrolls are part of this um, employment situation number. And if ADP um, is anywhere close to correct on what those private payrolls may be, 
um, our estimates over here could be um, missed strongly. So watch that um, carefully and plan carefully as you move forward for the day. Also keep in mind we have um, some Fed speak um, going on out there. We have natural gas and we have the Fed balance sheet, which nobody cares. It's over $8.2 trillion. We don't care. Just keep printing. Let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar. Our earnings calendar is the biggest, I think this is going to be the biggest earnings day this season um, with over 375 companies reporting today. So there's no way I can cover all of the notables today. Um, uh, please do me a favor, click that link below the title of the video if you wanna see what those notables are. Click that link below the title of the video, that'll take you back to the morning blog and that will um, help you, um, well, you'll be able to see all those notables that I've listed in the blog. Let's take a look at just a couple um, here um, that we'll be reporting that we might want to pay attention to. Uh, BYND, um, Beyond Meat, will be reporting today. We're going to hear from AIG today. We're going to hear from Consolidated Edison today. We're going to hear from Papa John's Pizza today. Um, we'll catch a report from FireEye. Oops, there we go. We'll catch a report from FireEye. We're going to hear from Space. <laughs> Not actually from Space, but we're going to hear from Space. Um, we're going to hear from Trip, Trip Advisors. We're going to hear from Wayfair and Zynga. So there's a few stocks that we will be um, watching today as we move throughout um, this day. Lots of price activity could occur here in the market. So just be prepared for um, that volatility to stay rather high. So with that, guys, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up and it before we do that, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post a video. And I want to say thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that. They click those thumbs up buttons. They leave those brief comments. It's that engagement with the video that helps us continue to grow. And I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. Um, you guys are awesome. Now, yesterday I wasn't able to answer those. Um, just got too busy and I wasn't able to answer um, those comments, but I will be back on the case here this morning. So please do me a favor and... Um, and please leave those comments and also um, do me a favor and click that share button and share this video out on your social media feed. Also, just a real quick shout out. Thank you so much to the Buy Me A Coffee folks. Um, just below the title of the video, there are a lot of folks supporting the channel that way and I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. And we have a very a mix of things out there that um, may be a little bit challenging. As you guys know, yesterday I mentioned RWM. Now, RWM is an inverse to IWM. And this is setting up in that rounded bottom breakout pattern. And notice that we're trying to push up off of that 50 here again. Now, if we continue to see IWM selling off, um, that could be problematic. And this is a really good hedge um, in the market just in case that were to occur. So you might want to take a look at RWM. Now, of course, you could look at TZA or any of the others that, that will likely have higher volumes than RWM, but that's just because they are leveraged ETFs. This is something that you can hold a little bit without a lot of uh, theta decay that you would see in those leveraged ETFs. Let's take a look um, at some other stocks in here um, that could be setting up. Take a look at DKNG. DraftKings. Now, DraftKings trying to hold up in this pattern. Now, uh, albeit we're below our 50-day moving average, but notice we have this higher low. 
we're trying to break this downtrend here in the chart and um, it's coming up on an earnings report so we're going to have to be really really careful with this in fact i would say wait until after earnings but watch this closely notice we're trying to come up in this chart trying to push on through might want to watch that one closely if that can break through to the upside i have to keep mentioning retail stocks take a look at uaa uaa after its earnings report has just skyrocketed up now i wouldn't chase this at the moment but wait for the next rest or pullback in this chart if we can hold some price support in this area hold that area look for that opportunity then for that to maybe move on through to the upside watch that pretty closely you might also want to keep a close eye on peloton peloton um, i've been mentioning this for a while but peloton continues to be stuck underneath this price resistance in the chart just can't quite get her going but if um, we are starting to see worries of delta variant slowing down our um, our growth Peloton might be one of those that just push right on through. Now it's going to report on 826, so keep that in mind. And oftentimes we will see stock rally toward those earnings reports. But watch that closely and see if that can push on through here to the upside. Looking pretty good, setting up, but keep a close eye on that. You might also um, take a look at DOCU. Whoops. Darn it. There we go, DOCU. DocuSign, very nice chart. Had a nice bullish pattern in there yesterday, pushing up. Notice we're holding that price support in here and we're trying to follow this upside trend here in the chart. So keep an eye on that. That has that possibility of pushing on through here in that chart. And take a look at SQ. SQ had that just huge, huge move on its earnings report. And we slammed into some resistance in this chart. I'm gonna put my drawings on here. We slammed into that price resistance pulling back. But notice there's really not much selling happening on that pullback. So if we can hold price support in here, if we can hold inside this trend area, we may need to consolidate a while longer, but I'd keep an eye on SQ for that opportunity that this could turn around and push on through to the upside. Um, I'm gonna have to mention some of the financials in here as well. Interestingly enough, um, WFC, um, uh, continues to show bullishness here. We're holding in this um, support level. We're holding inside this trend. So I would kind of keep a close eye on that. If um, that can push on through to the upside, we've got, um, you know, um, some just a few of the financials looking really, really good and holding up quite well. So keep a close eye on that. You could also take a look at like Morgan Stanley holding in a very bullish pattern, holding up above price resistance and just consolidating up here. Look for that next opportunity, that bullish move, if that can push on through to the upside. So we've got some of those financials starting to work out as well. So there's a few charts for you to kind of keep an eye on. Watch that closely. Be really, really careful with Chinese stocks right now there's a lot of volatility around those and it's starting to affect the gaming stocks as well so be kind of careful with those with that everyone hey I want to wish you all a fantastic day I want to wish you great results in your trading and we'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning for that employment situation number buckle up and get ready for more volatility as we uh, try and digest all of this data coming our way. Take care, everyone.